four days later, we've got UFC Ultimate Fight Night for free, live from the Palms. And that show will be main evented by Mike Quick Swick moving down to the welterweight division to fight Josh the Bitch Berkman. <laughs> and, that's, an, uh, that's an interesting name. Uh, Mike Swick's coming off of a pretty crushing loss to uh, Yushin Okami um, in his hometown of Houston, Texas, back at UFC 69. And uh, this whole coming off a loss and moving down a weight class. And I don't like Josh Berkman, but he's kind of a big name in that weight class. He's fighting him. So Mike Swick's got a lot to prove in this one. I'm giving it to him. And knowing my disdain for Josh Berkman, I really hope he puts a couple fucking knots on his head pretty fucking mm-hmm. early in the round. I, I hope we see an Alex show now where he just comes out and doesn't give a fuck and starts swinging and knocks him out in 20 seconds. So when it happens, 20 seconds in the first or 20 seconds into the third, I'm saying Mike Swick's winning this fight. I think so too. I don't like Josh Berkman. I've never liked Josh Berkman. He's had a lot more fights than Mike Swick, but Swick's got it. He's a great fighter. I love to see him fight. And yeah, I hope to see Bergman <coughs> cave the F.O. in this one. <coughs> Absolutely. Right. It'll be interesting. Moving right along, we have the previously mentioned Patrick Cote going against Drew McFederese. Cote, 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 Yeah, so it's quite obvious who we're going for in this yeah. one. Big hit Patrick Cote fans right here. Yeah. Uh, hoping he takes it by knockout. Drew McFederese had some impressive shit early in his UFC career, but... Eh. And, um, yeah, Patrick Cote, you know, he's coming off this huge win over Kendall Grove, and he's on fight night, and Grove's still on pay per view. I don't understand that. But, uh, Patrick Cote at some point, TKO. It's uh, a co main event of a fight night. But yeah, okay. but. I, Cote. Yeah. Okay. Anyway. Uh, uh, next fight night Alvin Robinson versus Nate Diaz. Nate, major supporter Nate Diaz. of the Diaz brothers over here. So And I wasn't I wasn't talking shit about uh, well, I was talking shit about Nate Diaz because he didn't deserve to win the Ultimate Fighter Five, in my opinion. But that doesn't mean he's a bad fighter. He was a great fighter. He had a very impressive showing. He wouldn't have gotten to the finale for nothing. He's very talented. I love his brother, you know. So yeah, absolutely, Nate Diaz. Uh, anyway. all I've seen of Alvin Robinson in the UFC was his fight against Kenny Florin at UFC seventy three where he got decimated. And that's obviously not too impressive. You never want to count anyone out in a fight, but Nate Diaz, that fight over Junior Asuncao back when was pretty impressive. And here's hoping that he'll do it again. So let's go Nate Diaz. And then the final fight on the main card of this upcoming fight night is... Wow, these are some good fights. Shit. Michihiro Omegawa against Tiago Tavares. Now, Tiago Tavares, his last fight was against Tyson Griffin at UFC 76. Fucking awesome fight. One of the best, the best fight on that card, I believe. It was great. And uh, he had Griffin hurt a couple times. I'm glad to see that he's on a main card again. And uh, Omegawa's coming off a loss to Matt Wyman. I <laughs> think from the same event. I might be wrong. But um, I think Tiago Tavares definitely takes this one. Yeah, they're just feeding Tiago a guy. This dude's four and five. I don't even know. I don't uh, know. Yeah, yeah, I'm surprised he one of those guys did all right in Pride and came over and fucked okay. up. Well, that, Tiago's only fight. Uh, anything on the undercard when we went to that? Ray Maynard. The undercard. And Cole Miller. And is this, is this is everyone from Ultimate Fighter 5. <laughs> Ultimate Fighter 5 is highlighted is on the undercard. Because everyone wants to see that shit. If you've seen the... the uh, you've seen his stuff doing that. Because, okay, if you've seen the... Ultimate Fighter series. You want to see those fighters again. I want to see Gray Maynard. I want to see Cole Miller. I want to see uh, go down, go down, go. I want to see Corey Hill. Hell, yes, I want to see Corey Hill. Who doesn't want to see Corey Hill fight? He's a beast. I don't understand why he, Grim- he almost won Ultimate Fighter. Oh, fuck that. But anyway, uh, I don't understand how Gray Maynard's not on a main card. His last fight at the last Ultimate Fight Night, he knocked the guy out nine seconds. Came out, threw a hook, guy was done. So, I think Gray Maynard deserves to be on there. Yeah. Right, at the top was... of the undercard, we have Kurt Pellegrino versus Alberto Crane. I don't care. Alberto Crane was made a bitch like out of by Ryan Alberto. I, I, yeah. I don't mind Kurt Pellegrino. So, Kurt Pellegrino, Dennis Silver versus Gray Maynard. Maynard takes this one. You know, coming off that... F- fuck. The beer can. Coming off that freak loss to... Uh, I'm sorry, freak draw. Oh, yeah. Um... 
Emerson. Rob Emerson. Yeah. Rob Emerson. Come off that freak loss and that nine second knockout he had last time. Graham Manor takes that. Corey Hill's been doing all right for himself. He's fighting Jeremy Stephens. Uh, Corey no, Hill. No, no, Joe Vera's. Cole Miller is fighting Jeremy Stephens. Oh, my bad. Yeah. yeah, Cole Miller is fighting Jeremy Stephens. Cole Miller's been doing good since he got you know, see that head Hell, kick yeah. knockout of Andy yeah. Lang. And then they beat Leonard Garcia, who's a hell of a fighter. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. And so I take Cor- uh, Cole Miller in this one. I mean, Corey Hill versus Joe Vera. Is He's my... still 1 0. Yeah. I think Corey Hill, <laughs> just from what we saw in Ultimate Fighter, he's going to become something to be reckoned with. Oh, yeah. A lightweight fighter that big, you know, something to take notice of. And then handsome Matt Wyman. Why no love for Matt Wyman on the main card? I don't get it. He's a hell of a fighter and an entertaining personality. Well, let's be honest, out of all those Ultimate Fighter personalities, that's the last one I want to see. Like you, you liked him on the series. Dude, Matt Wyman was awesome. I liked Corey Hill, Ray Maynard, all those guys so much more. I don't know. Matt Wyman and Nate Diaz is where it's at. So this could be uh, pretty much a showcase show for the Ultimate Fighter series. we got all the guys Ultimate. from Ultimate Fighter 5. Yeah, like Berkman. we got Kote hey. from Ultimate Fighter 4. And then you got Swick and uh, Berkman. Berkman from Ultimate Fighters 1 and 2. So this is going to be quite the event and definitely not one to miss. So hope you all enjoy a little bit here. Yep. Enjoy UFC 80 and enjoy Ultimate Fight Night next week. Absolutely. Uh, no, I, I'm, we're good. All right. Signing off. Y'all take care. See you next time.